Hey everyone, how's it going? Into Weapons back again with you. We are back with you with the uh, FIME, I guess that's how you say it, FIME Group Vepper FM AK-47-11 model. We recently did a video review of this, uh, a kind of an overview as well as the shooting range portion of it. Uh, one of the things that we had complained about, or we didn't personally like so much, was the Warsaw length US made polymer stock that was on the back of here. Uh, for us US guys and our, our longer arms, the length of pull made it a little bit more difficult to get a good shoulder grasp on it and uh, make it comfortable for us shooting on the range. So uh, as we mentioned, one of the upgrades that we were going to do uh, was put on a aftermarket stock onto this guy. And one of the things you have to consider with doing any type of uh, customization to an RPK style uh, firearm with the receiver itself is being that it's 1.5 millimeters thick is that you're going to probably have to uh, do a little bit of grinding on any type of stock or adapter that you put on there in order to make it fit. So uh, what we want to do guys is just give you kind of an update on what we did to this particular rifle here and uh, my buddy did this uh, a few nights ago and what he did is he used a Definitive Arms M4 stock adapter and I'll see if I can get you guys kind of a close up on that. That's a pretty uh, readily available part. I believe it runs about $70. Uh, what he has uh, here is a standard mil-spec AR-15 uh, tube as well as the, uh, I believe it's called an MFT BMS. Yep, and that's a mil-spec uh, stock on there and you can see it's a little bit of, it's got the adjustability obviously to it, but it's a, a minimalistic stock. It's got a rubber butt pad on the back here and it works really well with the uh, adapter and the tube that we have on here and it definitely gives you the length of pull that us US guys need in order to uh, have a little bit better of a length of pull and uh, get that into your shoulder and have a little bit more comfort as you're shooting it. So one thing we did want to mention because of that 1.5 millimeter receiver is that uh, he did have to do some grinding on the Definitive Arms uh, M4 adapter here and essentially what you're doing is just kind of grinding on each one of these sides in order to allow it to be pushed into the receiver and uh, what you want to do is be very careful on that, take a little bit off at a time until you're able to slowly tap that in so you're not taking off too much and then you obviously have a you know a loose stock adapter in there which isn't going to help you at all especially at $70 you don't want to have to start over on that so uh, you can always take off more uh, if you need to but don't take off too much at one time now as you can see here we got a, a really good looking stock on there it is versatile for us US guys with the length of pull and it's solid it's very solid in here in order to get the original stock off he did struggle quite a bit with that and uh, just being able to uh, you know pop that off was not an option at that point they really pressed that stock into the end of this receiver here so what he actually had to end up doing because he uh, in order to try to get it off he kind of made the uh, stock not usable just kind of aesthetically wise so he ended up cutting it right about there on the stock uh, drilling a hole through it putting a screw in there and then a, a nut on the inside and then just kind of putting the end of the screw into a vise and then kind of yanking on the thing until it came loose and that worked out well for him he was able to get it out for, uh, fortunately after a little bit of tugging and then uh, was able to get the stock adapter in there so as you can see it fits real nice the fit in, uh, into the receiver there is real nice there isn't any gaps or anything like that and I'll mention real quick we got the Magpul, star, or Magpul uh, grip on there which definitely helps with uh, retention on your pistol grip but uh, it, it like I said works really well the adapter fits in there really well uh, the length of pull is adjustable with this particular stock this stock came from the AK-47 operators union which I know everyone's a big fan of they do a lot of really good work on reviewing and uh, offering a lot of really good solid products that they've tested out so uh, it obviously worked it's been tested and approved so it's a it's a good stock as a choice for this particular rifle and uh, we've already put some rounds through it I think we've probably put close to I think 60 rounds through it and it hasn't moved at all uh, it's, it's still solid and it works really well it's comfortable the rubber butt pad on the back here definitely assists with the comfort of the stock and uh, you can have you know it go all the way down to very small if you have maybe someone with uh, shorter arms or very long and it snaps into that place very well uh, so very good update or upgrade that you can do to this particular rifle and uh, make it a little bit more versatile, a little bit more comfortable for you and uh, we're real happy with it. For the entire thing here, uh, like I mentioned, this is about $70. The rest of it uh, runs you a little bit, uh, I'd say around $60. So you've got a total investment here of about $130 to $150. So it is a little bit of a substantial upgrade to the rifle, but when you consider the versatility 
uh, and the comfort level increase of it, that's definitely something that you may want to consider if you are looking at purchasing this rifle and uh, using it as a range gun, etc. So, uh, real happy with it, guys. We'll throw in some range video uh, for you so you can kind of see how it's operating. But uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, as always, I appreciate you watching. Till next time, take her easy.